Happy hump day, everyone. It's weather for Weather Geeks time on this Wednesday afternoon. And uh, after a very wet night last night, we've seen some sunshine today. But as I record this just a little after 2 o'clock, the atmosphere is starting to reload a little bit off to our west, exactly as we told you it would after a midday lull. Showers in, not much thunder just yet, starting to pop out here towards I-71, just south of Cleveland, Brunswick, Medina, heading back towards the Mansfield area. And we expect this to continue to blossom as we go through the rest of the, the afternoon. So that's kind of a, a high-res view of things. Let's show you the broader picture. Uh, again, mix of sun and clouds out there. It is seasonable in terms of the temperature this afternoon, pretty typical of August. Uh, but the, uh, the humidity is high. Here's a look at the dew points. Ugh tropical feeling out there today. Dew point in Youngstown, 67, and those dew points, as promised, pretty close to 70 in a lot of the viewing area right now. So it really, really feels soupy. Quick review of what happened last night into this morning. We had a whole lot of rain. Uh, this turned out to be a little bit heavier than uh, we counted on yesterday. Uh, Jess was nice enough to put together this uh, graphic for the midday report today. And here's a look at some backyard rain gauge totals. Over two inches, Newton Falls, Warren, Lisbon, and uh, the worst of it was actually just south and west of our viewing area, Carroll County, down around Atwood Lake, Carrollton, Delroy, and then even back towards Dover and New Philly. Some places had three, four inches worth of rain, and uh, that puts uh, the, the total at the airport, by the way, uh, was between uh, one and two inches. I'll have to check on the exact number, but the total for the month so far at the Youngstown Warren Airport has jumped up to 5.14 inches. Average for August 1st through the 20th, just over two. So we're over three inches above average at the Youngstown Warren Airport for the month. For the year, this puts us at 28.43, about 3.38 inches above the average through the 20th of August. Now, your, viola, your uh, mileage can vary on these rainfall amounts, especially in the summer when thunderstorms pop up. We, we can see some highly variable amounts. Here's a look at this, uh, a broader picture of, of the rainfall totals uh, from last night into this morning. And uh, there's a 5.39 down here uh, in uh, Carroll County, uh, south and west of Minerva. A lot of 2-inch plus amounts over towards the Canton area. There's 2 inches uh, uh, Millport. Up into our viewing area, lots of uh, one to two inch amounts, generally speaking, up here uh, in Howland, over two inches worth of rain, and 2.96. Uh, this is over towards Ravenna, over in uh, parts of uh, central and east central uh, Portage County. So, a whole lot of rain fell last night. As far as the, you know, the rest of the day today, we'll show you the models in just a second. Uh, just quickly, a, a big picture scenario here. Take off the satellite so this loads a little faster. Showers and storms out here to the uh, south and west. And uh, some of this action is going to uh, pivot back in for tomorrow and heading into Friday. Our rain from last night has pushed out into east central PA. All right, let's talk models now and uh, plan the rest of the day for you. We'll focus on the, uh, the short term first. High resolution rapid refresh model, a, a high res model that uh, did pretty well with our storms last night. Here's the simulated radar product starting at uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. As you can see, you know, not everyone's going to get wet this afternoon. Uh, just about everyone had some rain. Some of it was heavy last night. Many fewer places will get wet uh, today. But nonetheless, here's 5 o'clock, maybe particularly up in Trumbull County and Mercer County. We're getting a shower and thunderstorm at 5 p.m., 6 p.m. this evening. you notice the, the rapid refresh model concentrates a lot of this north of, say, 224. Not sure if that's quite the right idea at this point based on how things are forming out to the west. But, you know, nonetheless, we'll probably just say everywhere in our viewing area, you've got a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing in your backyard measurable rain before the end of the day today. Here at 7 o'clock this evening, uh, particularly again, 224 on north, according to the model anyway. And as the sun sets, a lot of this action is going to fade away as we lose the, um, the instability provided by the sun. And then things should be fairly quiet for the overnight tonight. Actually, let me go back to this and uh, talk about tomorrow briefly, uh, or hopefully briefly. Let's skip ahead to tomorrow morning on the NAM model, North American model. Zoom out here. Notice what's going on to our west tomorrow morning. Uh, things are pretty active in southwest Ohio. Here's 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And as soon as the data reloads, you can see that uh, southern Ohio, down towards uh, Parkersburg and Marietta, looking pretty active. I think the overall idea for tomorrow is a lot of the day is going to be dry, but we're going to have to watch out for a shower and thunderstorm particularly, I think, in the afternoon, even though this model does have some action fairly close by in the morning. Watch as I zoom ahead to the afternoon tomorrow. Middle of the afternoon here, 
things, you know, tr trending a little farther north. Uh, here's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I'll even back up to 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. You know, this is when I think most of the area has a somewhat decent chance of seeing a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon and heading into early tomorrow evening. But it's going to be real hit or miss. It's going to be one of those deals that, uh, you know, keep an eye to the sky. Uh, be sure and check out Mike Joyce's Facebook and Twitter posts tomorrow afternoon since I am off. And uh, you can download uh, the WFMJ app, has the radar right on it, so you can track the storms along with us. So uh, that, that's kind of the story for Thursday. As we go towards the weekend, here's a look at uh, Friday. And it's going to be another hit or miss day on Friday. It might be a little more active Friday compared to Thursday. This might be more of a of a 60% chance kind of a day as opposed to 30 or 40. Um, so, uh, you know, as we head into the weekend, boy, it's hard to hang our hat on many distinguishable features here. Saying one day is going to be wetter or drier than the others is tough at this point. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all three days have the chance of seeing a thunderstorm or two. But none of those days will be a total washout. We're just in kind of that pattern that uh, it's hard to say, uh, you know, which day is going to be drier, when's it most likely to rain. This is kind of a meteorological nightmare for us, trying to get real specific with the forecast in this type of pattern at the end of the week and heading into the weekend. All right, long-range temperatures. Not much has changed since uh, I started uh, talking about this a few days ago. The overall idea here is that the core of the real hot weather is going to stay out in the middle of the country. And even as far east as, say, Cincinnati and Dayton, there could very well be some 90s by the weekend and early next week. I think our warmest days will be in the mid-80s during the first half of next week. Uh, just as the Canfield Fair is starting a week from today, it might be pretty toasty. We could be well into the 80s that day. But then after that, the models continue to kind of hint here that at some point during the, the Canfield Fair late next week, we're going to get a cold front, and that front will likely knock us back into the 70s or maybe around 80 uh, for the weekend portion of the Canfield Fair. So if you're looking ahead to next week, too early to say which days are going to be dry, which days are going to be wet. It's only Wednesday of this week. We just can't get that specific. But we can look at the temperature trends, and at this point it's looking like the early half of next week, the first half of next week, will likely be warmer than the latter half of next week and into next weekend. All right, weather for Weather Geeks on a little bit of a hiatus once again, as I have a few days off uh, Thursday, Friday, and again Monday. We'll be back with uh, Weather Geeks on Tuesday. If you've seen my videos and my blog posts, I've been hinting that we've got some changes coming in the weather department. Uh, we're going to be uh, debuting a, a new look to uh, our weather graphics next week with some really cool stuff uh, that I can't wait to show you on the air. We'll be doing that uh, next week, so I can't wait to show you that stuff. In the meantime, be sure and check out my updated forecast tonight on 21 News at 6 and 11. Have a great Thursday and Friday, a great weekend, and I'll see you back here next week.